San Luis Pass. The pass, as many call it, is a prime surf fishing spot for many anglers in Texas and other states. It is known for its outstanding bull red fishing, black drum fishing, shark fishing, and even more. There is something for everybody here. It has one of the most diverse ecosystems for anglers. Surf fishing, bay fishing, flats, boat fishing, wow. this place has it all. Unfortunately, it is also known for something else, death. Many people have passed away in the past due to a strong current and an unpredictability. Let's begin. This is why San Luis Pass is the most dangerous fishing spot in the Texas Gulf Coast. But before we continue, if you want to be elite AF all year round, you want to catch beasts, you want the fresh perspective on all methods of fishing, you want some real genuine content, realistic AF, please click on the subscribe button and hit that bell notification for some of the crispiest fishing videos on YouTube. After extensive research, I've yet to find the depths and contours of San Luis Pass. Nivionics and other apps don't have the depth. Why? Because there's so much tidal flow here that the bottom is always changing. This changes after every major storm. I do know for a fact that the shoreline is always changing and it is, it is almost different every single year. The current at San Luis Pass is extremely strong, especially during tidal changes. Add strong winds and it creates an extremely strong current. I've seen kayakers flip over many times. Luckily those kayakers were wearing PFD. I didn't know how strong the current really was until I watched a kayaker wearing PFD float away from the Galveston beach side all across the Cold Pass, which is on the other side of the pass. That's crazy. And the only way he was able to get back to shore was because a boater was fishing. This pass can fool you. To explain this segment, I will split up the pass into five different areas. The Galveston Ocean Side, the Galveston Bay Side, Treasure Island Bay Side, Treasure Island, Beach Side, and Galveston Beach. On the surface, the pass can look very calm. Unlike many other beaches, the mouth of the pass itself does not have multiple sandbars that create breaking waves on the Galveston Beach Side or the Freeport Bay Side. Although there are breaking waves on the surf side across the Galveston Side though, and Galveston Beach. Those waves break at extremely weird and oftentimes crashing into each other for some reason. Watching those waves break on days where the wind is extremely strong is super trippy and scary because the waves crash into each other at different angles. They don't know how to crash or they just, it just looks so different. It's weird. I mean, I would never want to put my set foot in there. With the lack of such waves, it creates the illusion of calm water in the past. But little do people know that the current is ripping right beneath the surface. The backside of San Luis Pass is filled with deep holes and guts and everything that are extremely deadly. The San Luis Pass County Park has extremely deep water around it though. As you can see, this dark color change running across the pass, that color change is the deepest part of the pass. A gut that is probably 20 plus feet deep, but we wouldn't know because we don't have the depth of those areas. And as you can see, it wraps around the county park and branches out into the bay into what is called the Cold Pass. This area of the pass is extremely dangerous because there are instant drop-offs right off the beach and the current is always ripping right around there. The Galveston side of San Luis Pass also has instant drop-offs. The point, which many call it, is a shallow part of the pass that almost instantly drops up into the gut of the pass. This area of the pass by the bridge is also very, very deep. You see this guy here? Don't do that. That guy could easily get sucked out. Anyways, I do know that close to the shoreline it's also very deep. As you can tell, I do not advise swimming anywhere around the pass, period. The pass is a giant drain that can suck in massive amount of water. I mean, I've seen giant pieces of driftwood floating by and being sucked in. I've seen kayaks being sucked in. Just, you know, it's just, just don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. There is absolutely no reason to get in the water. I mean, there is so much beach on the island that it's, it's unnecessary to come to this part of the island just to swim. Fish, yes. Swim, no. I mean, really, this area is only for uh, skilled anglers, I guess, that know the area. Any angler with no knowledge of the area can die. Just don't get in the water. <laughs> I mean, the same applies to not going tight. One can easily get dried out to the ocean as well. And honestly, now it's much more impassable because the sand is so thick out there. It's, it's probably a good thing, actually. Another dangerous spot is the Gauss and Beachside around the bend. Like I said, this place is a giant drain. 
the currents are just as bad in this area as well and actually to be honest with you the currents are terrible around the whole area probably anything within like a one mile two mile radius this whole area around the pass should strictly be fishing only there's really no excuse to get in the water there are signs all over the place the signs are also in spanish the freeport site will give you a ticket if they catch you in the water Multiple people have died since 2013, and I think that since 2013, at least one person has died each year. I know this is an incredible spot to fish. I've caught tons of big fish here. I've caught my personal best 34 inch Spanish mackerel here. Look, take a look. On a popper. I've also caught many bull reds over 45 inches and one at 50. My homeboy Randy also caught a huge 46 inch jack here. Like I've said throughout the video, there is absolutely no reason to get into the water. Let me tell you this, a nice off the ground cast will give you much more leverage and power to get your, your bait further into the pass than a simple over the head cast in the water. A couple extra yards in your cast isn't worth your life, okay? That's it fam, and I hope you enjoy my analysis. For this video to be more effective and to possibly save a life, please share this video all over social media, Facebook, share it with your friends, and maybe some of the fishing pages. I think this is one of the most important videos I've ever made, and it's for a great cause. One more thing, I would also like to thank my friend Jason Cole for the drone footage. This video would not have been possible without him. He is a major part of this video. Well, that's it. Good luck out there. Thanks for watching.